Yes? Oh, have you come to the town? See the town helper? Sorry, what? You don't know who the town helper is? Me, silly. I'm a mediator, but I started dabbling on the side. I teach weapon skills, offer equipment tips, deliver lost items, give life advice. Folks just started calling me the town helper. I kind of like it, to be honest. Cool. You know, and we really need to get to the point where we're a blade so we can start, like, using the different terminals and accepting missions and stuff. Yes. We'll probably head for the main story until we get to that point. Sorry, what? Oh, no. Yeah, I thought she might actually offer her services. Not yet. All right. Great. Nothing beats scaling through the wild open fields of Primordia. You guys got to get your scale license post haste. Also, is scale the word? It is now. What's hey, Trevor. Right, we've already talked to this guy. Um, let's just head. Yeah, like all these like terminals and stuff. Like we can't even use them. I have to have a blade ID. Yeah. Which way are we? I think we're just going right here. Actually, aren't we? The barracks. Survey rate, zero percent. <laughs> we'll get there. All right. Bardum. Commander Vandom. Vandom. Sorry. Well, now, look what the cat dragged in. Ironheart. Sorry we missed you last time. We could have come to meet you at HQ, you know. Indeed. I suggested as much. Twice. Twice. And we know how much I enjoy being told what to do. Anyway, I hear you tangled with a tyrant way out of your league. On a training mission, no less. That was reckless and goddamn magnificent. All right. Mining probes, research probe, 50 armor points. I don't, I don't know what that is yet. Um, succeed in solid data probe. Yep, okay. So, Commander, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit here today? Well, I can't just ask Nagi to do everything for me. I'd be out of a job. Hey, I delivered you the new recruit, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you won the bet. Don't worry about it, all right? I'll settle up with you later. You know I'm good for it. The bet? I'm sure I'm needed elsewhere. <laughs> if you'll all excuse me. Not gonna talk about the bet? Well, that wasn't obvious at all. <laughs> right? Huh. Look at you two. I swear, you're like two children excited about a new toy. Look who's talking. I don't recall ever seeing you file a request to personally train a rescue before. Is that so odd? It is before we'd even asked him to become a blade, little mystic in the rear. Usually I ask when I don't get your slang expressions, but something tells me to just let that one go. Enough about that. Where are your manners, anyway? I still haven't been introduced to our new recruit here. Commander Vandom is Blade's top officer. In a past life, I was chief engineer on the White Whale. Mm. Same idea, basically. Someone has a problem, I fix it. You follow? Okay. Huh. <laughs> Not much for conversation, are you? So you still haven't told us why you're here. From the look of things, I'm guessing this isn't a social call. Because our character is you don't think? custom. No. So let's cut. It kind of feels like Elma's the main character right now. Ha! Sounds like you're learning my expressions just fine, Elma. Anyway, 
first we need Chatty Cathy here to choose a division and pull an assignment. And we've made like her sidekick. <laughs> Alright. That's got the divisions, yeah. Pretty much everyone in New LA works for Blade in one of several different fields. Helping to explore Mira or to maintain order in the city or, well, you remember Nagi's speech, right? There are eight different fields oh. in all, and each one has its own branch within Blade. Whoa, okay. Officially, they're called divisions. I should get to choose one of these? Naturally, you'll want to choose one that best suits your personality and your talents. Let's start with the Pathfinders. Pathfinders' number one responsibility is planting data probes, like you did on your training mission. Okay. The map makers, yeah. It may not be the sexiest job, but important? You bet your ass it's important. We've only been on Mira two months. We don't know jack about this place. <laughs> oh, this the guy. more probes we install, the faster we can get our bearings here and give ourselves a fighting chance. We've already detailed how important it is we expand the Frontier Nav Network ASAP. So, for the time being, I'll just remind you of the highlights. It helps us keep Blades safe. It helps us keep the city safe. And most important of all, it's the key to locating the missing parts of the lifehold and recovering the rest of the human race. Seems important. Okay, next up, Interceptors. You met Akalov and Evans, right? Irina and Gwen, this is their... They fight the monsters? Interceptors have one main duty. Protect New L.A. and everyone in it from the wildlife here on Mira. Nice. Right now, this is probably our busiest division. Interceptors ride shotgun for the research eggheads, they escort VIPs around, and they help any other idiots who get caught out there with their pants down. So are we actually choosing one of these divisions, or are we just kind of... Next are the Harriers. Sort of going to be all of them? Remember Doug one? Barrett, the scale pilot conducting the test flight with Lynn? He's part of the Harriers. If you think of the Interceptors as defense, Harriers would be New LA's Ooh. offense. They specialize in preemptive strikes on clear and obvious threats. But only on clear and obvious threats. They're not meant to go out and just blast any indigen that moves. I want to be in all of them. <laughs> and you got your Reclaimers. These guys are in charge of finding the other pieces of the White World. Oh, okay. Among other things, that is. Including anything of ours left behind after a battle. Scale debris, weapons, personal effects. It can get a bit morbid, frankly, but it's got to be done. Until we're up and running here on Mira and have this place completely figured out. Everything we brought from Earth needs to be treated like it's irreplaceable. Also, the search for the lifehold. That's mostly on the Reclaimers. Makes sense. Next, Curators. Curators are the first to scout ahead to unexplored uh, territory. Oh, okay. Bringing back whatever samples they can get their hands on. They're learning about the new Slugs, life forms and everything. And stones, you name it. It's not all This is an interesting story, like how, like, we're on this planet, we don't know anything about it. Unknown indigens. We actually have to explore, like, as a people. All right, prospectors. Okay. Prospectors do, well... Prospecting. Prospecting. <laughs> look around, looking for minerals, resources, and whatnot. Things we need for everyday life here. We packed all the essentials we could on the White Whale, but that won't last forever. We need to be able to replenish our water and fuel if we want to survive. And sooner or later, we're going to have to figure out how to replace things from scratch. From the socket on a Skell's knee joint, right down to the frying pan in Lynn's kitchen. Without these guys busting their butts, we'd have no future to speak of. Next up, Outfitters. Her little ear things are almost the shape of a Zohar, but not quite. Private arms manufacturers, or AMs. Outfitters are Blade's way of supporting these AMs. They'll seek out anything that might inspire new weapon ideas, and even assist with testing new prototypes. Cool. Finally, the Mediators. 
These are the folks who keep everything hunky dory with John and Joan Q public. Hmm. Any problems a civvy has, they come to mediators. Fight with your neighbor, mediators. Lost cat, mediators. It's not a division for everyone. You need to be a jack of all trades and a people person. Oh, I missed that weapon. Monado so dog. Charming personality, probably not the best mediator. But if you got what it takes, it's a clutch role, keeping things cool on the home front. All right. So I think that's all eight divisions. Did you mean about the color scheme, though? Any idea which one you'd like to join? Don't Ooh. fret about it too much. Whichever you choose, you still have a lot of freedom in how you operate. Mediators can still get out there and mix it up, hunt indigents, whatever. And if a Harrier wants to take a break and settle an argument, that's their prerogative too. To be honest, even though it's sort of frowned upon, you can actually change your division. Ah, uh, okay. Like. So there's really no reason to stress about this. All right, you ready to choose? Yeah, and we're on pins and needles here. Okay. Woo. So we're going to be switching this throughout the game to do the different things? Is that how this works? Um, ooh, actions that boost division points and division support effect. The so planting data probes discovering locations. Defeating enemies and completing missions. These are HPs arranged. Defeating tyrants and defeating enemies. Retrieving white whale wreckage and planting data probes. This one's all okay. The, both of those have planting data probes. Obtaining collectibles and defeating tyrants. The so curators and harriers both have defeating tyrants. Mining precious resources and discovering locations. Pathfinders and prospectors both discover locations. Leveling up arms manufacturers and earning R&D points. Completing missions, which was also air interceptors. Yeah. And training scouted blades. So we level up the division too. So it says boost division points. Hmm. We measure, we find treasure. Prospectors till we die. <laughs> oh, pawn specters. Oh, right. Oh, my God. I forgot about the pawn specters. Well, that just makes me want to not be there. All right. For the beginning, I feel like maybe Pathfinder makes a lot of sense so we can explore. But then so does, like, Interceptor sounds like. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Like, defeat enemies, complete missions. That seems like the way to go. But then also exploring, like, we're going to be able to switch this though, right? So let's just go with Interceptors to start. Like, defeating Tyrants sounds like more of a later thing, maybe. Some of the islands you can't take much advantage of yet. Yeah, I mean, like, at the beginning, I feel like defeating enemies and completing missions is probably the best. I'm going to go with Interceptors. Division spoils away. Then it's settled. Yep. All right. Thank God that's over. By the power invested in me. We're between that and Yana, the prospectors, not prospector, the uh, pathfinders. Congrats and welcome. I know you're gonna do great. Now for the job. Let's get down to brass tacks. Nelson's team has gone missing. Last contact we had, they were installing a data probe out in Eastern Primordia. Then, nothing. Hmm, Nelson. Pathfinders, right? Are we talking indigents here or what? Your guess is as good as mine, but they did have a skull with them. You'd think they could hold their own, or at least run away. All right, we're on it. We'll head to their last known location and go from there. Report whatever you find ASAP. Of course. Let's move out. What division are my other party members in? 
or do they just become my division? Search for Nelson's missing team southeast of Primordia. Well, southeast is a pretty, like the map, we're, not, there's not much south, okay. 20,000, holy crap. And a storage probe. That's chapter three, so we're already in chapter three now? Yeah. Builders of a Legacy. All right, so the first couple chapters just kind of fly by. You're officially a blade now. Congrats! Becoming one of us grants you access to a variety of services, including the shop terminal, and AM terminal, and mission control, and more. Some services are still off limits at the moment, but we'll get back to you on those later. Elo Eleonora's stuff by so. Fast travel. Ever wish you could zip back to a place you visited? Well, that's why we have fast travel. It allows you to instantly return to significant landmarks as well as any frontier nav sites that have data probes installed. Nice. Beyond the Logos Artificial Destiny Emancipator. Interesting. Arms manufacturers or AMs support us from the sidelines by developing new weaponry and gear and by utilizing their services we can support them too. Head to the AM terminal in the Armory Alley to learn more about working with AMs to make new gear. Alright. So like, I chose Interceptors, but like, what about Elma and Lynn? Like, are, are they in their own groups? It, is, it says Interceptors at the bottom now. Apparently they're level 7. Oh, those, are those little, like, armor points? Those are division points, maybe? Also, Blade level 1. Rank 10. Is that my class? Yeah, my class is rank 10. Is that the max? Because it looks like the bar is just full now. And it's got a little symbol on it. Can we get one of these? Oh, it looks like these are unlocked. We can switch classes? I can class up. Oh, man. Okay. Choose this route if you want to go in guns blazing, mix offense and defense arts, and provide HP and melee attack bonuses. Well balanced and suited for beginners. Choose this route if you want to rack up damage. Focus on skillful application of damage buffs. Provide bonuses to melee accuracy, ranged accuracy, and evasion. <clears throat> this is this is the kind that Ilma is, right? Dual guns, dual swords. Hers is full metal jaguar. Choose this route if you want to provide support from afar. Offer many ranged arts and bonuses to ranged attack and potential tricky to master suited for professionals. This is more like the caster kind of thing. Mastermind, Galactic Knight. So they're saying strikers for beginners. Maybe I should go this way first. Oh. Let's see what they get. Didn't take very long to rank up, but I mean, that was probably because Drifter is super easy. Yeah, the class names are unique. You don't see these very often. Like the Samurai Gunner. All right, so Rising Blade, single enemy, deals weapon damage, and when taunted, it boosts his damage. This doesn't have to be taunted by me or just taunted in general. Um, Defensive Stance, reduce TP damage. Reduces damage taken, continually restore HP, reduce total melee attack. Alright, so you lower your uh, your own damage, take less damage, and heal yourself. This is sort of like a, a tank class, maybe? Grants supercharged total evasion during execution. Weapon damage with an aura boosts TP. Target nearby enemies. Deals weapon damage, and if you have an aura, it boosts TP? Furious Blast, target single enemy, deals weapon damage, boosts damage in melee combos. And then target enemies ahead, deal weapon damage and inflict physical resistance down. Assault Rifle Longsword. This is like kind of like what we start out with Drifter, except the knife upgrades to a longsword, basically. This is dual wielding, and this one is a ray gun and a knife. 
and it goes into Psycho Launcher Photon Saber down here. Let's see. I saw a long sword. Gatling Gun Shield. So this is the tank class right here. The Striker does lead into tank. Bastion Warrior, yeah. Dual guns and then, ooh, and the sniper rifle javelins up here. Okay, so we got sniper, dual wielder. Ray gun knife sounds like a caster, probably. A gravity blast, gravity cloak, energy source, pathogen blast, inflicts virus. Yeah, okay. Um, Galactic Knight is psycho launchers and photon saber. Restores HP when in scale. Interesting. Man, I don't even know what I want to do. And Photon Saber is a lightsaber, right? <laughs> like, let's just call it what it is. Um. I mean, Duelist sounds kind of cool. Part of me wants to just go straight damage, but then Ilma's already in this damage roll. We're gonna have four party members though. We've got someone that's a tank. We got Ilma who's a Jaguar. Maybe I should go down the third route. But then it also says that this is tricky to master and suited for professionals. And this one's the easy one. So. Oh, you can brain jack. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's all kinds of new abilities. Like, there were some callbacks, like, um... Wild Down. You know. Like, some abilities that we recognize the name of, kind of thing. Slit Edge. Backslash. You know. Ones we've seen before, but then some of these are very new. What would you guys recommend for the first time, or does it really matter? Can I just do whatever I want, you think? We can switch this later, too, so maybe it doesn't matter. I kind of want to go for the lightsaber, just because... Let's see what we get if we go down this way. Weapon damage, and then if you have an aura, it boosts damage? Or does it give you an aura that boosts damage? And if it's with an if it means you have to have an aura, where do I get an aura? Um, target one ally, remove debuffs from restore, so we have a heal there. Heals weapon damage, and inflicts blackout, which is, was that like blind? Probably. Full spec is myopic means like, yeah. Um, boosts potential and boosts range attack, boosts ether resistance. This is a buff for ourselves. There's only four abilities in this one. That's interesting. Where do we get an aura from? Which one of these is an aura? Like. It's full specs in aura. It gives you a buff. It's not like an aura though. I'm gonna go Enforcer. We'll just make it work. We're gonna make it work. Whoa! <laughs> Suddenly this is on my back. Okay. Or are the blue arts? Okay. We still have Sled Edge. We got Beam Barrage now. We still have these two. 
We lost the other ones because they have different weapons now. We still have a knife, so we still have slit edge. I see. Okay. Interesting. Beam barrage deals weapon damage, and then if with an aura, it boosts damage. And so TP is an aura. Okay. But the recuperate is an aura. So if we put the recuperate on ourselves, then this will do extra damage. Does it do extra damage, or does it give us a damage buff? This says boosts damage. No, it does extra damage. 50% more damage when you have an active aura. There it is. Okay. Upgrade that even more. All right, so we only have four abilities now. Only one for each weapon, but we'll work with it. We, we gotta find better gear. I wonder if weapons like drop based on what you are, you know what I mean? Like, we got almost nothing but rifles while we were in that other class, but was that just because we were low level, or is it actually, like, take into account what you are when it decides what to drop? We are not level 8 yet, are we? No, we're level 7. Alright, so we can't wear the level 8 gear yet. Alright. We need this stuff now, yeah? Barracks customization. Room colors, wow. What? We can just change the <laughs> dark mode activated. Do it yourself now. This change the actual it's all it's just different colors of gray I'm not gonna mess with that right now look at all this interceptors what we are right now we should, we should, we should, we should say it we only have one light I guess we're gonna get more of these as we go on this support missions and division activity okay okay uh oh Wait, is this gonna work like division rewards special bonus can be sold for a whopping 10,000 credits via inventory Oh, did, was I choosing one? Oh, that seemed like a good one, actually. This one's 30,000. Oh, whatever. The Divisogram. Oh, prospectors, though. What? A lot of love for the prospectors. That's where we can change divisions. Okay. Like this humongous thing is not what I was thinking of when it said ray gun. I'm going to be honest. But I'm going with it. Like now we got the interceptors everywhere. Okay, that's going to change the time. Okay, I see a question mark. Is that a quest? Hey. Now what? 
Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. I know you're terribly busy. But is there any way you might help with a rather urgent request? I promise I won't take much of your time. Heck, I don't have much of my own to spend. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> sorry, getting off track. Anyway, I know you should be running this request through official channels and all that, so I'm sorry. There's just no time. I'm desperately, I'm desperate at this point, and I'll literally take any help I can get. Uh, not to say you're just anybody. You're great. <laughs> Look, um, I know I must sound completely bonkers, but just hear me out, okay? That's all I ask. Really, you're gonna just listen to me? 